Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were on the Star Forge finally, on deck two currently, heading further into the facility to, uh, well, deal with the Sith. And now we have a whole bunch of stuff we need to do to be able to get further on which is mainly fight as much of the Sith as possible I guess that didn't work so that's fine this will work as much as we can hope probably I hope so okay uh, deal with them and start on them Okay, and just curious. Yep, I had a feeling. Ion defense turret, huh? Oof. This would be very effective against robots, but uh, luckily none of us are robots here. Ooh, heavy blaster. Ooh. It's probably going to hurt the most by far. All right. So far, so good. Sorry, I had to drink my, uh, <laughs> had to drink my energy drink quickly. Didn't expect, uh, combat still to be ongoing, but here we are. All right. At this point, I can more or less figure out how the combat's gonna go. Okay, also... She is... Oh. Well, no wonder she's having trouble. Um... Let's do a little cheatsy doodle to help her stay alive, shall we? Uh, all the way down to life support. Pack right there. Perfect. That should at least top her off as far as I could hope for. And I'll continue the combat down here for the time being. All right, shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. Okay. And that should do it. Uh, she is still in trouble. Um, time to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy as long as the tactic works right as long as it works then the ends justify the means i have a lot of crap in my inventory is what i'm learning out of this Oop. okay time to run all the way back and help her because holy crap She's been doing that combat all by herself the entire time. Those Sith troops weren't even there when I was... When I was uh, walking in. And she handled all of it anyway. <laughs> wow. With a little bit of help from us, she managed to handle it. Good on you, Jihani. Time to take all of the loot that we possibly can because of, well, Jihani's handiwork, really. Okay. And I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I say that, and I find two more 
Well, that kind of justifies the life support packs we used. Whew. Okay. Alrighty. Okie dokie. So, with that done, I'm going to see if there's anything over here. Nope. Nothing. Go this way. Uh, what? They're just running in from other areas? Really? There we go. Well, that helps a little. Alright. Well, the Dark Jedi is not having any of that, so that's fine. Just continue normal combat. Since that seems to be what works. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Now that they've been stunned. I guess not. Okay. Well. It's going about as well as hoped. And Johanny is running to help Jolie, because still more combat to be done. And Jolie is not equipped for combat, really. There we go. Oh boy. Alrighty. Are we done? Are we done pulling that amount of combat? Are we done? Please tell me we're done. Because <laughs> that is an excessive amount of enemies just to traverse the area. It's beyond excessive, actually. Yeesh. Jeebus Lorenzo. Okay. Well, maybe I can finally open this door in peace. Well, hello. All right. Got some of them, at least. Uh, we'll go after them. Then we'll go after them. All right, they're dealt with. Now we deal with you. And beautiful. What is... In that energy shield, what is... You're kidding. More of them? Oh my gods, you're kidding. More of them. more of them. I cannot believe this. Every 20 seconds it seems like there's more combat to be had against the Sith. When do they run out of bodies to throw at me? Like, really? When do they run out of bodies to throw at me? Because they cannot. They cannot keep this going. At a certain point, it becomes unbelievable that they can throw that many bodies at my person. At a certain point. Alright. There we go. We're gonna keep that going. Q. 
Okay. All right. Well, we got that at least. Oh, don't you start with that. Don't you start with that. Okay. All right. Can we be done, please? Can we please be done? Please. I am begging you. There is no reason. <laughs> oh boy, there is no reason. At all. Can I investigate that thing, please, now? Can I please investigate that? Alright. Let's please get to investigating whatever this is. Replicator bin. Okay, well. Let's go to the computer terminal. Slice into the computer. Oh... I can generate things. Customized Jedi robes. Analyzing user data, matter, creation processors engaged, generating robes. Okay. Lost some spikes, but what do we get out of it? Star Forge ropes. I kind of want to see how those work. Star Forge robes. Aha! Restricted to the Jedi. Additional wisdom. Pretty high defense. Not as high as our current. But, uh... Pretty high up there when it comes to Jedi robes. I get more strength and constitution out of these. But these are still pretty good too. To the point that I'm going to see. Okay, Keldromas is still pretty good. So, I guess we'll give these... Oh, I can't. I can't give them to him. Okay, well, that makes sense. And these are restricted to the light side as well, so I can give them to her. But I can't give them to him, because he isn't light side. He's the gray Jedi. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, at least it's still technically an upgrade for her. Ups the wisdom. Adds saves. All plus two. So, it is an upgrade for her. And it works out. Created by the mystical technology of the Star Forge, these robes focus the inherent force abilities of the wearer, fueling their power. Although the Star Forge itself is an artifact of the dark side, these robes were customized using an analysis of the Jedi they were created for, resulting in a powerful light side item that the Jedi can safely use against their enemies without fear of taint or corruption. Well, if that doesn't fit what Jahani needs, I don't know what does. All right. Oh, look at that! They look good on her. Look great on her, in fact. Sure. All right. So let's see. Let's uh, let's create more stuff. Let's see what else we could get out of the Star Forge replicator bin. Heavy battle armor. And then call that good. Log out. 
All right. So. Okay, it won't actually let me open it from this angle for some reason. So let's try that again. Heavy battle armor, endure steel armor. And that's just normal crap, isn't it? Dura steel, heavy armor, and heavy battle armor. Yep, it is exactly normal crap. Huh. <sighs> Slice into the computer. Oh, I can do it again from another computer. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um, I'm kind of curious. I, I realize that it's not in my inventory. I was stupid to do that. I wonder if I can make the other computer do the same thing. Yes, I can. But this one costs 25 because it's Jolie. So I wonder... I wonder indeed... If these Starforge robes that I just made with Jolie will work for him. Damn it. No, they won't. <laughs> Fuck. It was worth a shot. But annoying that that isn't how that works. <sighs> Well, I at least have three of them made now. <laughs> For all the good it'll do me. And at least I was left alone long enough to discover that. Because I finally dealt with the number of bodies that the Sith can throw at me. I think. I'm still not sure. There might be more. <laughs> there may be more. I hope not. But there may be more. And is there anything past here? Oh, there is a metal cylinder. Might as well open that up, see if there is anything. Sith power gauntlets. Okay. Computer spikes. Makes up for all the ones I used. Antidote kit and plasma grenades. Granada. Okay. Um, Sith. Yep, they're already equipped with them. So don't need to worry about it. Cool. What is in here, I wonder? A path to the command center. Is that all this map was? Uh, there was another path I forgot to take. Okay. Well, far be it from me to not explore every aspect of the map. Especially when there's so many options. And here's hoping there's no more bodies in that direction. Because <laughs> fuck, dude. Ah, oh, man. There's only so much combat I can take. And boy, oh boy. Did I reach that already? <laughs> okay. Here we go. We walk a dis away. To the west door, which is locked. How dare. Rude. Okay, well. West exit and east exit. I already used the west exit find out it's locked east exit i think is the way i came from so i guess the only other option is the door i opened a while back oh <sighs> boy are you kidding me go oh <laughs> there we go Let's go into combat, and then do that, and then do more beatings. 
All right. Hey, they leveled up. Beautiful. Let's get that done before I forget. Also, I, <laughs> I find it hilarious that Jolie's not at light side yet, considering how high I am in light side. All right. Um... Screw it. Screw it. It uh, adds modifiers to force-related feats and powers. <sighs> Good enough. And let's put that last point into treat injury. Because he's going to need it. Because he's going to hurt a lot. Um, and let's put the last one into... Force armor? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There we go. And we're done with Jolie. Juhani. Put that last point into intelligence. And put this into awareness and treat injury. And we shall go with... What is combat oriented? That she doesn't already know. Force wave is useful. Let's do that. All right, and that finishes that. Everyone is now an appropriate level for the shenanigans to come. All right, there we go. And down they go. Perfect. All right, you're still going to be doing this, huh? There you go. There you go. And done. Combat is basically over. Really? You healed yourself. Who told you you could heal yourself? You bastard. Who told you that you were allowed to heal yourself? How dare you? How fucking dare you? Alright. Well... Here's hoping they finally ran out of bodies to throw in my direction, because holy fuck. That was a lot of combat. Alright. <sighs> so much mortal combat. <laughs> Basically what we've done. Ah, oh boy. All right. All right. Okay, okay, all right. Let's move on to the command center. Where there's probably going to be even more of them. <sighs> Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starboard itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? But... The forces bring us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together. So they may all die in a single glorious day. Cocky bastard, ain't you? You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastula. Uh -huh. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Rakatan. I Jesus. I fear, Bastula, but it is unfounded. The power of the Star Forge will feed the dark side within you. Hasn't helped any of this it so far. Give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Right. Stay here in the command center.
Jupiter while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. Yes, you will. And then you'll come back to my side and we'll all be a big happy family again. Hell yeah. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. I knew there was an ulterior motive. If Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. Probably. <laughs> you are basically still within earshot, you putz. Jesus. Alright, well, here we are again in the combat arena of death. Alright, so there we are again. Oh, they turned on their shields for this. Well, it's not going to help much against my force powers now, is it? Not at all. Not like they hoped. That's for sure. And let's see how quickly we can burn through their shields anyway. Oh, we just blast right through it. Oh, it's like there's not even an issue. It's like they just turned on a... flashy purple-blue aura. Why'd I go with purple? It's more blue than it is purple. But either way. Whoa. Okay, I kind of teleported next to him, but it's fine. Alright. Um, well, there's a dark Jedi already through, so we'll take care of you. As much as we can take care of you. Uh, we'll also take care of you. Uh, gonna move on to you as well. Do that. Keep doing that until you're no longer a threat. It won't take long. There we go. And they're done. Alright, let's gather up the loot. Oh, really? Really? Your shield wasn't going to last long. I don't even know why you bothered turning it on. Your blue little aura field for about five seconds was not going to last. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Well... And they're still in combat. I'll be damned. They're at least holding their own. That's good. Not this again. Oh yeah, it's this again. Okay, Jolie's a little bit in trouble, so... Let's use one of the multiple new <laughs> life support packs we picked up in the last five minutes marking all of these guys, for lack of a better phrase, to heal him up, and then we'll call it good. I'm just going to collect remains while they combat. They're capable of handling it all on their own. Well, hello, new meat puppet. To get beat down. Oh, you switched to a melee weapon. How cute. <laughs> How adorable. Alright, well, I should probably get closer to them. Oh, I don't have to. They finished their combat. <laughs> oh, the fact that they're not even a threat anymore. Even in large numbers, the Sith aren't even a threat anymore. 
They are literally now just jobbers. <laughs> the fact that they have been relegated to the jobber class is hilarious to me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you didn't even bother with your shield, huh? You're just gonna die like the rest. Ain't that unfortunate for you. Well... I'm not surprised y'all are coming down from there. Time to do force wave until y'all get the picture that you ain't gonna survive this. And now I'm out of force. I'm out of force points. I'll be damned. They finally wore down my ability to do force points. It took them 30 minutes. <laughs> but they finally did it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Let them fight the Dark Jedi for the moment. And then... They're still. They're still coming. Okay. Have we learned our lesson yet? Have we learned our lesson yet, Sith? That literally nothing you can throw at me will be enough. Have we learned the lesson yet? Has it been beaten sufficiently into your skulls yet? I don't think it has. Kind of curious to see what would be in this metal box, if anything. Ah, some computer spikes. It's decent. Actually, you know what? Making them heal a little. There we go. Cool. Perfect. And I have to wait for him to catch up. There we go. Okay. And once again, go into battle. This time against an old friend. Well, not quite yet. Really? That's your plan? That's your plan? Well, I'm gonna lock them out of the room. Urgh. Lock them out of the room. We die here to fight him. Urgh. Yeah, about that. About that. And let's just force wave them until they're gone. All right. And bye bye. Oh, some Sith troopers finally caught up. Hi there. How you doing? All right. Welp. <laughs> so much for the Sith's vaunted strength. And one more. There we go. That is perfect. All right. We got it. Let's move. The final room. 
Hello, Bastila. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'm Farron Khan now, Bastila. Revan is no more. Sadly, I know this is true. Had you reclaimed the power of your previous identity, I would be your apprentice, not Malak's. But you rejected the dark side. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. Of course. Of course, it has to be solo combat. And we're back to this again, huh? I see now why Malak followed you. Even though you're only a shell of your former self. A shell? A formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. I beat your ass in two turns. What are you talking about, girl? <laughs> what are you talking about? I am as strong in the light as I ever was following the dark side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. No, I have it a greater isn't. command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Oh, you fucking deluded. Malak will never let you become that powerful. He will kill you first. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my master. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand, and I will become the new Sith master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. You're dooming yourself to an endless cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. About that. And it'll take another two turns. You are nearly dead! The light side is failing you while the power of the It took two turns! ...energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not faltered, Bastila. You have been misled by the dark side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. Okay. Well, another round of beatings. Oh, this one will actually take three. This is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Now you see the dark side is not stronger than the light. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. I could never kill you, Bastila. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. You can reject the dark side, Bastila. Return to the light. No, I am not strong enough. There is too much anger inside me now. Too much hatred and fear. I can no longer find peace in the Force. Use our bond, then. Take your strength from me. You always had more strength than I did. I told you that. I felt so helpless before your destiny. You were Revan and I couldn't tell you. It was agonizing. Even worse when I began to feel closer to you. I despised myself for it. And even now, I feel your strength. It does help me. Thank you. I think I can face the end now. If you were the one to end it for me. Well, there's the romance option. And just the pure normal option. This is a 
pretty normal option. And I could just still go straight for death. Wow, that's an option I didn't expect. Um, I love you, Bastila. I can't abandon you, ever. You love me. There was a time I yearned for and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? Help us defeat the Sith, Bastila. This will atone for what you have done. Yes. I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you enough to leave myself open to attack. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. <laughs> a single stroke? I mean, to be fair, so far I've been beating you in two to three turns. So, I mean... <laughs> Little cocky, but okay. Alright, well, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's move on. You won't, Bastila. Because I love you, and I believe in you. You are brave, and some would say foolish. Yeah, well... But you were also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. Mm -hmm. You said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Fuck. <laughs> I slapped the mic trying to get my hands up so I could clap. <laughs> Reggie cut the mic slapping part out. It's going to be so loud. But yay, we did it! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Got to remember, got to have the hands in the other side of the microphone. Otherwise, I'm just going to smack the shit out of it. All right. You aren't afraid to love anymore. After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. Aww. You should go. Malik awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malik, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. Okay. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. You could use your battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. Yes. That would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. Damn I will stay right. in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Mm -hmm. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. Break in the Sith formation. Endar. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was going to try and put us into the pilot seat. I was a little confused. Capital 
ships reinforce their position. I have a feeling this is going to be a long FMV. <laughs> the fifth fleet is in disarray. Now is our chance. Get back to Starhawks with everything we've got. There we go. Journal entry added. Hells yeah. The final confrontation. You've saved Bastila from the dark side, and she is now using her battle meditation against the, against the Sith fleet. Now, if I can talk correctly. But you know that the Sith threat will never truly be over unless you find and destroy Malak himself. Alrighty. Unfinished business. I still don't understand why that's there. Invisible Mandalorians. Still don't understand why that's there, but that's fine. All right. Can I talk to her? I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation okay. to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. Mm -hmm. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. Fair enough. All righty. Okay. Is this path forward or is it just a path? I'm not sure. Unsure whether or not some of these doors are the path or not. Could be. Could not be. It's hard to say. Hmm. It sure seem to be. So at least seem to be something like it. Alright, anyway. We are a little over time, so I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. And then we'll explore what these doors are supposed to do. I guess not. Um, we'll go down that path, since that seems to be the only open path, uh, in the next episode. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. Reggie, please cut that out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. I kind of screwed that up, but whatever, it worked. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and saving Bastila from the dark side and defeating basically every Sith body that was thrown at me, more or less. And uh, now we are on to the last final confrontation with Malak. And then we're done with the game, I think, pretty much, more or less, for you.